What's going on YouTube, GF right here, so in today's video I'm going to answer an important question that I seem to be getting quite a lot lately about the Checkrain jailbreak, which will be released in a couple of days. As you probably know, the jailbreak is a little bit different compared to the ones that we had until now, for example the Uncover or the Chimera jailbreak in here, so a lot of people seem to ask me whether they can switch from the Uncover or Chimera when the check rain comes out. So I decided to answer this question in this video. Now, if you have an iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4S, you're probably jailbroken on a lower version like 12.4, 12.2, 12.4 and so on, or even iOS 10, iOS 11 and so on, because there are jailbreaks available for those versions in here. But if you're running 13.3, 13.2 or 13.2, or even 12.4.1 for that matter, you are not jailbroken on any of these versions. However, for those of you who are jailbroken with tools, for example, Uncover, which is compatible with iOS 11.0 all the way up to the iOS 12.4, or with Chimera, which is compatible even with 8.12 devices, you're probably wondering whether you're going to be able to use the Checkmate exploit and of course the Checkrain jailbreaking here when it comes out. The answer is yes, you will be able to, but you have to do a couple of things. For example, you are already jailbroken and you have tweaks installed and so on, so these may conflict. Now, in order to be able to jailbreak properly with the check rain jailbreak when it comes out in the next couple of days, you will have to restore your device back to the factory settings. Now I'm not talking about completely erasing all your data and so on, I'm just talking about removing the jailbreak and that can be done by using Uncover's built-in rootfs restore function, which by the way will also remove Cydia and all the installed tweaks. Now as you probably know, the Uncover has that kind of feature built in and probably even Chimera has one, but yeah, the important thing is that in order to be able to use the check rain jailbreak breaking here, you will need to perform a restore of the rootfs so that their files do not conflict. Now in the future you might even be able to use the uncover combined with the check rain if you want to enable one another and so on when a tfp0 kernel exploit is available for whatever version you're running, but for the moment these are separate jailbreaks which cannot be used with one another and although you can switch quite easily from one to another by using Uncover's built-in cleanup function, you do need to run that before you're able to use the check rain. However, the important question is, should you go from Uncover or Chimera to the check rain? Well, I wouldn't actually recommend that, especially since the Uncover jailbreak uses TFP0 kernel exploits, which although do not support the latest version available, since we don't usually get TFP0 kernel exploits for the latest versions, if you are already on an older version like 12.4 and you want to just be jailbroken and you don't care about the version you're on, I would definitely do not recommend you to go ahead on 13.2 and jailbreak with the check rain because check rain is actually a semi-tethered jailbreak which means that you will need a computer every time you want to power on the device with the jailbreak enabled. If you don't use a computer after a reboot your phone will restart and will go back to stock and you will be able to place calls and so on but the jailbreak will not be enabled. While with the uncover and the chimera you would just be able to open the application, press jailbreak and of course be done with it. This still remains a semi-tethered jailbreak which means that you still need a computer everywhere you go if you want to enable the jailbreak. So if your phone reboots and you're at school or you're on vacation and so on, you will need to get to a computer that has the check rain installed before you would be able to enable again the jailbreak, which is pretty bad because with the uncover or the chimera you can just press the jailbreak button on the application and you are good to go. So yeah, switching from the uncover to the check rain is definitely possible and if you're running 13.3, 13.2, 13.1, 12.4.1 and even 13.2 in here, you would definitely need the check rain jailbreak in order to be able to jailbreak your device. However, if you're running an older version like 12.4 or 12.2, 12.1.4 and you're already jailbroken with Uncover or Chimera, then I do not recommend ditching the Uncover and updating to the latest version just to use check rain because it is semi-tethered. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, do not forget to check out our forum here which is called Jailbreak Central where you can get help and of course see the latest jailbreak news. Thank you for watching, I am GF Snow and till next time, peace out.